Still, still ahead, a local teenage inventor takes on drunk driving. Two votes in Albany today give strong indications that New York will become the first state in the nation to require adults to wear seatbelts in motor vehicles. The Senate passed a bill requiring drivers and front seat passengers to buckle up. And the Assembly Transportation Committee approved all even, an even stronger bill requiring the driver and all passengers to wear seatbelts. The vote in the Senate was 37 to 15 after only one hour debate. A 19-year-old Plattsburgh youth has invented a device for a car that could help solve the nation's drinking and driving problem. His name is Craig Lalonde, and he says that once he gets the necessary patent, his company is going to begin mass production of the product for worldwide distribution. Sharon Northrup has the story. Some say Craig Lalonde could very well be Clinton County's version of the computer whiz kid. However, Lalonde says he's just a young businessman interested in electronics and cars. Since several people close to him have died in alcohol-related accidents, he invented a device called Alcotran, which can be easily installed on a car steering wheel. It took six years to perfect, and now it's ready to market. Lalonde well, explains how it works. And, um, turn the key, as you've noticed, the car won't, in, the star won't engage. All you have to do is blow into the sensor, hot enough to make a little bit light on the dashboard wall, which senses, which, is, which tells you that the, the sensor has enough air, that you can see the car will start. But if alcohol is on the breath of the driver, it then becomes impossible to start the car. Okay, what I'm going to attempt to do is show people what will happen if your blood alcohol content is above 0.05 or around 0.06. This is such a concentration, I'm going to blow into the sensor, and uh, if you have reached it, you can notice the car will not start. General Motors has introduced a similar product. Theirs, however, it does not require any type of alcohol breath test. Marketing representatives from Monitor Design Systems say their device will sell for about $250. Um, the price itself is a lot cheaper than um, a lawyer's fee if you have to go out for DWI or anything else. And it does save lives. It does work. The company's immediate plans are to market the product locally. But once they get the necessary patent, they will begin mass production of Alcotrans for worldwide distribution. Shows once with me five plus against the